Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. So Disney Junior announced a new Ariel TV show. Mm -hmm. And of course, of course, Ariel looks like she does in the movie now. I don't see why people are surprised. Uh, not surprised at all. They probably greenlit this back when they greenlit the movie. What's surprising is they gave her animated flounder. Yes. That to me is what's surprising. It doesn't look like any of the characters in the movie. And she has def definitively red hair underwater in this one. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about this because Twitter, of course, is already like, yes, Queen, Black Ariel's here to stay. Um, you know, of course this is gonna happen. Of course this is gonna happen. Now, whether or not uh, Disney, after it took a beating at the box office, will uh, keep Ariel black from now until the end of time remains to be seen. Well, I don't think they are because they're offering both uh, live action and animated aerial meet and greets at the parks. They didn't take the, the the original out for the new one. They both are there. There's different parks, but they both exist. Like they're not like removing one for the other. Yeah. So this is this is interesting though because this doesn't usually happen because they've got two distinctly different aerials, right? That they feel like they have to have them both there because they know one is the cartoon aerial. It's interesting because when they do this, like with the movies, a lot of times they'll they'll use the live action version to kind of temporarily replace the cartoon version because they're very, very similar, right? Mm -hmm. In this case, they're like, no, we're gonna have both aerials. Right, because they're so different, yeah. Because they're so different, we can't we can't choose one or the other because we don't wanna get involved in that conversation. We wanna start we? the issue, but we don't wanna take us, we're not gonna take a side. Yeah, we didn't start the fire, no, we did, we did. Uh, so let's, let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news views, and rants, guys. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo! Uh, again, the big news really isn't that uh, Ariel is black in the new preschool show, uh, because I kind of figured if they were going to do something to tie in with the movie, they probably would do this. They do this often. It was not a surprise. I don't think this is a shocker in any way, shape, or form. It's basically Doc McStuffins underwater. It is interesting that they, they paired her up with Cartoon Flounder. Right. And I have to wonder how much of this show is going to look more like the classic cartoon, except for Ariel. But the reactions from Twitter are exactly That's as you what would want to talk about because this whole this, the people that were like you have yours they they can coexist they're both you know everything else they're like nah we want bitches and it's like are you kidding me your movie did not even break even it's not looking to break even it's probably not gonna it's gonna cost the company a uh, hundred millions of dollars for at least one to two hundred million dollars at this point if it stops right now so ju just as a case in point most people think Ariel uh, go see the Little Mermaid all new movie right. Uh, so we have Pandora and Disney and look who, look who's on there. That looks like classic Ariel to mm -hmm. me. Is that classic Ariel? looks like classic. Yeah. I mean, they probably greenlit this. There's like a greenlit now. I don't think so. It would have been greenlit before this. They would not greenlight this right now, given how the movie performed. Right. Um, so this is the thing. Animation takes years and it probably was greenlit at least two or three years ago. So they said that the new series follows young Ariel and features fan favorite characters Including Triton, Ursula, Sabat, Sab Ursula, didn't they? But wait, kill her. This is prequel. Prequel. But yeah. is Ursula going to be Ursula from the animated Ursula, or is it going to be Ursula well, from I, the live action Ursula? Is she going to be his sister? I can almost guarantee you, all the other characters except for Ariel are going to look like their classic cartoon incarnations. I can almost guarantee you. I mean, we've got classic Flounder. I bet you Sebastian looks like he did in the cartoon. I bet you Ursula looks like she did in the cartoon. Um, they're just saying they're using it to try to teach preschooler stuff like how to solve problems. and It's like another, like a Doc McStuffins Doc underwater. Doc McStuffins underwater, right? Um, same art style. It, it, I mean, I would I would be more surprised they didn't do this than that they are. People are like, oh my God. I'm like, I'm actually, you know, surprised it took them this long to announce it. Um, honestly. Oh, God, this is weird, though. Uh, yeah, she, she when she's filled with joy, her mermaid tail changes color depending on her emotions. It lights up and shimmers. Well, that's because you know why? It's a hell of a lot easier to sell toys that light up and shimmer. That's what this is about. It's, yeah, you they probably took a look at, I mean, beyond the movie, they probably took a look at, like, the Doc McStuffin toy sales, and they're like, yeah, let's do that. And what, what's the other one they have? That, yes, yeah, reminds me of Bubble Guppies. Ariel even looks like one of the Bubble Guppies. <laughs> Kind of. You know, so, and that, look, that was, a, that was a big thing. That was a big thing for preschoolers. That's what they're looking at, right? So, I mean, look, I understand why How they did How can we Coco Melon this shit? How can we Coco Melon this shit? And again, I'm sure it was greenlit uh, uh, years ago. Yeah, it would have been. 
But the reactions from Twitter, of course, yeah, it's basically we got Ariel now, bitches. You're never getting Ariel yeah, back. I, I thought I thought the narrative was well, you, there's they're they're both existing, coexist. You know, they're, they're both they're not they didn't get rid of the one for the other, so it's all good. Everybody can have their own Ariel. That's that's what the discussion was. Uh, when I tell my children, Ariel's always been black. Why would you tell your children that? Because because this is a prequel, right? Um, we need more black MCs in the animated films. There's Wish. Uh, we won. Black Ariel still lives yet again. For now, but still, I mean, it depends how the show does. Oh, when they announce Black Ariel's permanent stay in the park, too. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, they might, if the preschool show is a huge hit, and it, it might be. They'll put I the mean, preschool version of it. They'll put the preschool version. Yeah, yeah at Hollywood will. Studios is usually where they put the, the Disney Junior stuff. She can be part of their, like they do the Hollywood and Vine, the preschool, you know, Disney Junior meet and greet. They'll probably put her in there. You still have your Ariel. This is like Star. Remember this was Star Wars too. It was the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like nobody's taking your old man movies away. Well, this is okay. You can you can argue this just because I mean there's no room for both. Okay, cool. I, okay, even if I agree, then tell it to the other people who are like, yeah, you know. So these are the comments on the uh, the Pop Crave announcement. Love it. Hope they don't start slowly replacing the original Ariel. I hope they will. Uh, white Ariel isn't going to stop existing because we have black Ariel now. Like, settle down. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, yeah. you know, I agree with you. White Ariel isn't going to stop existing. Yeah, you're saying that in one breath and then the other. Uh, the fuck? They literally made a new movie and a new show with black culture. We will not settle down. Oh, boy. Yeah, well, I mean, look, this is actually... This is actually a, a pretty accurate, I mean, several characters lately have been you yeah, know, race true. swapped. It is a trend. Let's hope they do replace the white Ariel. It's washed up. Oh, it's washed up. It's says washed the movie up. that can't even hit half a billion dollars. Okay. Ah, uh, Imagine debating over a fictional char That's character. That's their always their go-to. It's not real. They're not She's real. She's over. She's over. Says the people that are complaining about, or that are playing that white Ariel exists at all. I don't really care. And look, this is going to happen. I am not yeah. surprised. We've been doing this long enough to know. If they're doing a live action version of it and they think they can cartoon it for Disney Junior and it has enough interest, they're going to do it. She has the look of Doc McStuffins. She's actually quite cute. I'm not going to lie. And they're going to pull this crap. Doesn't mean it's going to be successful. Not necessarily, but it might be. Who knows? Um, I, this is normal. Yeah. I mean, look, I, 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 I don't know. I the movie didn't do well. So. The, I mean, that's the thing. At the end of the day, the movie did not do well. The merchandise is not selling well. Yeah, um, but these might. Those probably will because they're cute. I and then they have the, Flounder and Price of Bash and everybody else looking like classic characters. Oh, yeah. And if her tail lights up and is shiny and cute, it's going to sell. Yep. I'm sorry, but that I mean that's the truth of the matter. Um, do I think they greenlit this now? No, they're saying that oh, it's green lights. Like they just did it. I don't think so. No, 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 no. They wouldn't have done this now when the movie didn't do very well. They would have done this months ago, um, in my opinion. Yeah. So um, there it is, guys. Uh, Ariel's black for now. Uh, we'll see what happens long term. But this is this is the direction. I'm like, and, 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 am I surprised by this? I mean, no. is anybody no. legitimately surprised? Nope. They're going to double, triple, quadruple down on this. I mean, obviously. Yep. There's no shocker here at all. Not at all. So we're going to wrap it up? Yeah. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. It's also predictable. Bye. Sorry, I, I yelled loudly. That's okay. I got I got the limiter on. Okay. So uh, you can tell my kick setting. Yeah, you can you can so you can Wait, tell really it automatically limits it when it, I yell. It does when you get when the pitch gets too high. It it <laughs> it does. When sometimes if you sound like all robotic, it's oh because it's, it's bringing the decibels. Down. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.